Well, we are here with Norm, who is from Central Garden Distribution. And good guys, morning. Good morning. Good morning, Norm. You really do uh, all kinds of products for slug death, which is what we're going to be talking about. We do. All over the Pacific Northwest. Yes, we do. So let's go over some of the things, because, you know, nobody gets as frustrated as they do when they walk out. They see those beautiful hosta leaves coming up, and they're either partly demolished or gone because of slugs. They are. And so, right now, you know, the hostas are just now coming out yep. of the ground. And if you don't treat them with some type of preventative against the slugs and the snails, is uh, you're going to go out the next day or two and they're going to be gone. Yeah. And it really is a preventative issue, and it's easy to do. Very easy to so, do. You've got very, you've got a lot of different alternatives what you can apply to. Yeah. Now I see beer, which you know, you know this this is really a, a crime to use beer, but it is an old. It old is a crime. It is a crime to use it. beer. Uh, <laughs> it does work, however. It's an organic way to control them. Uh, it's actually what it does, it actually gets absorbed into their skin uh -huh. and the, the salts or the alcohol content in there will actually dry them up, but they usually crawl into something. A lot of people like to pour it in a dish, but as you've already mentioned, it's a terrible waste of the spirits. <laughs> it's so true. It really is, particularly on a nice warm day. <laughs> it's like giving a gift to someone that you dislike. <laughs> oh, it is. But if you are going to use it, you know, you, you don't really want to get a really a, a, a micro brew beer, you know. And you want to remember to change it out. You can't just pour it once and leave yes, it. Yes, once it goes flat, it becomes ineffective. Yeah. Okay. But like, what if, what if I, I wanted to drink that and put something else down? <laughs> you could do that. You could do that. But there's other alternatives. You know, we can use the beer, but then uh, we have Corey's here, which has an active ingredient, Meta. And uh, application is really important. Usually after uh, rainfall, which we've had a lot of this yes. spring, or if it's been dry, you want to water prior to your application. And it's available in a couple of different ways. The, the old traditional has been the Cory Slug and Snail Death, which is a meal. You can mm -hmm. use it around vegetable gardens. You can use it around all your flowers, your hostas particularly now. And you want to do just like you're putting a little bit of salt into soup. Yeah. It's just very sparingly. And it is biodegradable. It will break down with the soil. And it normally will take about two weeks unless we have a considerable amount of rainfall. Sure. If we do that, you may need to reapply. So the meal is, a, is one of the options and probably the most popular. Uh, you can also use the pellets. Pellets, if you have an underground area, uh, if you have a big area of hostas or evergreens where the meal will just stay on top of the foliage, you don't want that to happen. So if you use the pellets, that will drop down between the cracks and the crevices yeah. of those evergreens. And, you know, I've always been a huge fan of quarries. I have very large gardens, and it's so cost-effective. I mean, you can cover so much space with it, as long as you don't just pile it on. That's what a lot of people do, though. Don't want to pile it on, you know, like I said, just like sprinkling a little bit of salt in the soup, and that's all that's necessary. Yeah. And uh, either one of them are going to be just as effective uh, as the other. The pellets might stay a little bit longer because they are, you know, more compressed. Yeah. Now, I see some really pretty copper tape here. Oh, yes. <laughs> copper tape, again, it's an organic uh, solution to it. Uh, you can use it uh, around the flower beds uh, as a metallic material. They have to crawl over it. It has to come into contact with them, and it will actually discourage them or prevent them from going into the garden But area. make sure there's no slugs in it when you put it around. That's exactly, because they can't in. get out. It'll be like a little prison for them. That's right. <laughs> now, tell me about this Deadline. Well, Deadline's been around for a long period of time as well, and this is a meta product, mm -hmm. a metaldehyde base, and uh, it's a paste. It, again, it's probably one of the most popular, but one of the things that I share in frustration is my wife, she will literally stand into one place, turn the bottle up <laughs> this direction, and squirt, and it'll be gone. Yeah. And then she'll say, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> what you want to do with it is you want to, as a dead line, is little lines or little, just little, little splotches. Sure. Little boop, 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 boop. Don't just stand there and, and spray it on. Spray it on. And, you know, all as we place. always say on Garden Time, the label is the law. So follow the instructions. And label you'll be fine. is the law. And you know, where you find them right now are under old pieces of wood. Yeah. You find them under the plants. You find them under planters. You find them all over the place. And it's the little tiny ones that do a yes. lot of the damage. But it's an excellent choice, very economical to use as well. Now, I like this. This is the new packaging for Worry Free, which is really your kind of uh, natural base. This is. Cellular. This is an all natural product. It's safe around children, pets, and animals. It's an iron phosphorus based product. Uh, with this, people see, say sometimes that, that it doesn't work. That's because they don't see a slime trail. Yeah. It doesn't cause a slime trail as the Meta product does. But you apply this the same way. 
It's uh, very biodegradable, very safe, like I say, to use around children, pets, and animals. Perfect. Uh, just as effective, lasts about the same period of time. Perfect. Well, you know, it, it's just inevitable you're going to get slugs in the Northwest. And if you want to learn how to take care of them, you go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website, and you can find out the product that works just right for you. Thanks so much, Norm. Thank you, William. Have a great weekend.